Hello, this is Paul from QuickenMobile.com and we are here at Beverly Park in Beverly Hills, Michigan and we're looking at Beverly Hill. And in Beverly Park, they dug out a pond and they made this hill many years ago. And in the wintertime, kids take their sleds down the hill, so it's a snow hill. Now, a lot of the time, and I'm going to disclaim, you're, you're guessing, I've got an Electra 7 power folding wheelchair here and we're looking at Beverly Hill and if you're going to guess that that hill is a far greater slope than an ADA compliant ramp you would be 100% correct. So many people call us, so many people comment, so many people ask what is the capacity of these motors? Can these motors climb a steep hill? Well the answer is yes they can. They can, they can definitely climb a much steeper hill than an ADA compliant ramp but I am going to disclaim before I do this, what I am about to do, it's stupid, it's dangerous, it puts me at extreme risk for tipping, and you definitely should not do this. Do not do what I'm about to do here. Do not do this. I am telling you point blank, don't do this. This is for entertainment purposes only because you may as well see me uh, fall over and tip in this video. I hope not, but you might. Now, I'm going to disclaim a couple things. We've had another chair that we, we got about halfway up the hill. This hill, it's been raining like crazy lately. There's mud. The hill is very uneven itself, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of areas that can be like a, a, a divot for the wheels. And the chair does have posi traction, but if I hit something and I'm going very steep, the chair's gonna throw me off to one of the sides. That's just how these chairs operate. But keep in mind, I'm doing something that we're not supposed to be doing here. Great opportunity to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. We do we do more than just educational videos or entertainment videos. We do a lot of reviews, and you can find us right on quickandmobile.com as well if you're interested in learning about the Electra 7. Now, before I take this chair up the hill, I'm going to just kind of give a little instructional or tutorial. If, if you're stupid enough to do something similar to what I'm about to do, if you sit like this, you're asking to fall over backwards and that's going to hurt and that's not it's it's going to be a, a really bad thing you can injure yourself you can even kill yourself so i am going to make my center of gravity low and i'm going to scoop my butt forward and i'm going to kind of tense my stomach up so i can kind of have my gravity forward see that person on the top of the hill they're they're all the way to the top so i'm going to try to get up enough to the point where it will be a level area and then I'm going to come back down so let's see what we can do here I'll make a couple attempts I'll make three attempts if I don't get it Unfortunately, I ran into a pretty big hole and I'm not going to try to turn around again, but you're going to watch me be able to come down the hill in a controlled manner. The chair will still eventually stop when I take my hand off it. I'm sliding. I'm sliding because it has been raining. I can still control myself on the way down. So I made it almost all the way to the top there and the problem was once you're on a, a very steep incline like that you really can't turn because if you turn gravity just does what gravity is going to do and it's going to whip the chair around and it's very difficult when you're exceeding what you should be doing on these chairs to correct yourself. You really have to kind of keep it straight and kind of saw what I was doing there. So I'm going to try one more time and I'm going to go in a different area. The chair is powerful enough to do it. I ran into basically and I saw it coming. I don't know, they're right in front of you. You see that you see that bowl that's kind of there? It was maybe twice as twice as deep as that area that you've kind of got just random dirt and kind of dug out and the, the wheel started spinning, so there was nothing I could do. But let's try this again. I really want to make it all the way to the top. I know the chair is powerful enough to. 
And again, I, I am going to reiterate what I'm doing. It's it's stupid. You should not be doing this. Okay, let's let's wish for some luck here and see what happens. Okay, I've got a wheel that's just spinning. So I'm going to come back down. And we can see that the chair is clearly powerful enough to make it up to the top of that hill. The wheels are spinning. 12 inch wheels make all the difference in the world. I appreciate taking the time to watch this video about the Electra 7 power folding wheelchair's performance what it can do and to watch me doing something that's absolutely stupid but to actually see that it was controlled and i was able to do it without a problem so thank you for watching you can visit us on quickandmobile.com and i hope you make it a great day